Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back for a brand new video. So I'm editing the moving vlog now, literally I'm about to post it. I realised I didn't film an intro, so here I am doing it now. So these clips are from like a while ago. And because I store everything on one memory card on my camera, I deleted something which is so annoying. So the first bit you'll see us shopping for like dressing, not dressing tables, bedside tables. Then there was a whole clip of us like unboxing them, putting them out and going like, wow, I like them. Or wow, I need to change the colour, but I deleted it. So yeah that's kind of annoying but i hope you enjoy this moving vlog anyway i always keep you waiting so long for it because it just takes us so long to actually do anything but i hope you enjoy this one anyway if you do make sure you give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and yeah let's get into the video sorry for the phone vlog i forgot to bring my camera i was literally just coming to get food while we're in manchester for his birthday found a b&m furniture and diy shop which we've never heard of before never we found some bedside tablets that we like but we'll have to spray paint them just them they're gold but we're going to spray paint them probably white and then do that stone thing on top maybe but we just won't be able to stick the board onto them, but I don't mind that. Maybe. Do you agree? Yeah, true. They're meant to be 60 pounds. And they're 30. So if they, even if they go shit, it's not the end of the world because they're cheap. Because we was looking at some that we like that were like 200 pounds, weren't they? Yeah. So you're coming home with what me. About this? You see that? You could like stick the wood from there and you could stick it onto that part as well. No. You could nail it in. I prefer that, Shay. Do you? I think. Yeah, should we have a look around and see if there's anything more? I've never been to B&M furniture and DIY shop. Look how cute all this stuff is. Actually, never going to be able to find like. <gasps> are these? You don't like them? No. I think they're sick. There it is. That's what that is. Do you like? I don't like it. Oh, it's one big, one small. Maybe not. Hmm. So we bought these from Ikea ages ago and we just never got cushion covers that were right. I ordered some that were too yellow, ordered some more. So the first lot I ordered was too small, second lot was too yellow. Third time looking. These are a bit hard. These are nice, so. They go better with that, yeah. but these will have to be changed, I reckon. I just like big corduroy ones. Yeah. Let's go on the bed. It's saggy though. Yeah, they're alright actually. There you go there. And <laughs> <laughs> that goes there. Yeah. Stand up straight. Do a little chop. <laughs> <laughs> Do a little chop again. <laughs> <laughs> that looks cute. That looks very cute. What the fuck? Bro, what the fuck is going on? That's it. That looks sick. Yay! <laughs> Extra cushions, but I think we're going to change these ones. I don't know actually, they're not that bad, do they? No. Maybe we won't a change them. different those. tones. Yeah. Because they match that the most, I reckon. Yeah. But the big cushions look cute, don't they? The cases are from Amazon and the pillows are from IKEA. These ones are B&M. The gold side tables. You know what we could do? Gold lights, yeah. And then frames, gold picture frames. And that's it then? Yeah. Okay. That's enough gold then, isn't it? Because I can't be asked to do all of them. And when you paint over like metal, it looks shit. Well, we've learned that the hard way from that mirror. Oh no, yeah, but we did use wood paint, we didn't use metal paint. Yeah, true. That's going to look sick. So we'll get some like gold frames. Um, maybe some gold handles on them or no? And then should we get gold handles for them? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> that looks sick, I love that. Woohoo! Special delivery! I can't wait to fucking dry dishes. So we've had a special delivery from Emma Mattress, so thank you to Emma Mattress for sponsoring this bit of the video. We've got like a hotel mattress here, bro. Hotel, bro, this is... Hotel quality. So when we moved in six months ago... Yep. We just bought like a cheap mattress because we didn't have a bed. We, had... we didn't have a bed for so long. That before. mattress has been with us through... When we just had a mattress on the floor and that yeah. was it. Like, Who remembers those times in the In the corner when this room was being replastered and it was all the wallpaper was stripped down, it was disgusting. So we just wanted like a quick cheap. Yeah. Should we buy that mattress the day we moved in? I think we did. <laughs> yeah, we, we did. Thought, where can we go? So just found one yeah. quite quick. But now we've got an Emma premium mattress, which is so exciting about how this Bro. old one can go. I cannot wait to try this shit up. Same. Let's open her up. I've been the rubber. No way. 
Bro, how the hell are you getting that? <laughs> it's fucking no. packed. Right, let's get on, you got them biceps. I'm not gonna be able to lift this. This Go is on. like heavy. <laughs> the mattress is out. It comes with like this cutter thing, which is gonna be helpful to open it up. It makes our lives a little bit easier. But before we get into the mattress, I wanna tell you guys that Emma also do divan beds, which are compact, they fit into small rooms. They've got two storage drawers. So Emma offers a 200 night trial, free delivery and returns, and a two year guarantee. Love that from Emma. Oh, feel it expanded. The hook. <laughs> you seen that move? Maybe we should have got our old one out first. Maybe we should do that right now. <laughs> we got our room. Old mattress is off. Mm, that smells so nice. Right, she's a bit flat. She needs to fatten up. She's been vacuum packed. Feels so nice already, don't it? <laughs> I cannot wait. We're going to be sleeping good tonight. I think we're going to have to leave it to fluff up for a couple of hours. So maybe we come back when we're going to bed and test it. Yeah. Yeah, is that a good idea? That's a good idea. That is a good idea, isn't it? There's a choice between two mattresses. You can get the Emma Original Mattress or the Emma Premium Mattress, which is the one that we've got. And it's meant to be like a hotel mattress, and I just think you can't beat a hotel bed, so I'm so excited about that. You know what's good about this mattress as well? I could have done with this during the heat wave because it's got cooling comfort like technology. Springs in this mattress allow improved breathability, meaning that even on the hottest nights, you're not going to get sweaty, you're not going to get too hot, it keeps you cool and dry. I don't know what it is about our house, but our house is always hot. Like since we've moved in, we've not had the heating on once and I'm always cold. And this mattress has ultimate support. So when you're like rolling around and moving around and you sleep at night, it supports all your different positions, not giving you any aches when you wake up because have you ever gone to sleep, woke up with like a really dodgy neck because you've slept funny? You're not going to get that with this. This is going to support it. So we're going to put it to the test tonight and then in the morning, we'll come back and tell you how nice the sleep was because I think it's going to be a 10 out of 10 sleep. I do feel like a mattress is definitely something worth investing in because they last so many years. So I will leave the link down below for you guys to go and shop Emma if you want mattresses, if you want beds, it's completely up to you. But I do also have a discount code. I'll leave it on the screen now. It's just Shannon Sleep, no spaces, and that'll save you some money off your Emma mattress or bed. So yeah, I'll check back in in a few hours when it's puffed up a little bit more and then we're going to sleep on it tonight and we'll let you know how it was in the morning. So it's been a few hours now and now the mattress is at full Capacity. Capacity. Please ignore Cobra chewing my slipper. He won the fight. Now we're going to put all our stuff back on the bed and then we're going to do a bed test. Look how squishy it is. <sighs> wow. Oh. That literally feels luxury already. Three, two, one. <sighs> this is such a weird angle to be filming. So comf. I can literally feel it like my body's sinking into the mattress. Right, this is us for the night. <sighs> Prepared for a very comfy hotel feel sleep. What about you? Ready. So we'll check it in the morning and let you know how. Well, it'll probably be just me because I've got work. work. I've got work. Peace out. Good night. Good night. Good morning. So please ignore the fact that I'm half ready, no lipstick in my pyjamas still. This is your sign right now to go and invest in an Emma mattress or a cute Emma divan bed, whatever you want. I literally slept like a log. Usually I find myself waking up in the night like too hot, too cold, tossing and turning because I can't get comfortable. But I honestly slept like a log last night. I've had the best night's sleep in a long time. And I slept in these like full, not knitted, like soft, not fluffy. I don't know how to explain it, like this material pyjamas. Usually I'd get quite hot. I literally stayed in these all night, wasn't too hot, wasn't sweaty. So the cooling technology worked. So if you are interested in checking out an Emma mattress, I'll leave the links down below for you guys. And don't forget to use my discount code Shannon Sleep. I'll leave it on the screen again. Save yourself some money when you're buying a mattress, a bed, whatever you want. I've got the premium mattress, but you can just get like the original mattress. So yeah, I'm about to go out, but I just have to tell you all, this bed was the comfiest bed I've ever slept in. Thanks Emma for the new mattress. I literally want to spend the rest of my life in bed to be honest hi moving vlog so i'm taking a very spontaneous lonely trip to tk maxx because we saw glow by chloe had this like basket that she's put i don't think she put anything in it actually but it's on her tiktok it's a black woven basket and it's exactly what i wanted for the living room i know she lives quite far away i don't actually know where she lives but i'm going to my local tk maxx and hope to find it if not i'm just gonna have a look around tk maxx i'm going on my own because we've got a child now <laughs> we've got cobes so we can't, we can't, we won't, and don't want to leave him on his own. But I am going to kind of miss, like, the random spontaneous shopping trips that me and Oak have together, but Cobra comes first. So I'm off to TK Maxx now. There's one not far from me. We're here, and it's quite big, so surely, it's got, like, an upstairs as well. Surely something similar, at least, is in here. Got all the Halloween stuff out, but I'm just like, <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> I'm not really like a Halloween decoration kind of person. I much prefer Christmas stuff. These are so cute. I'm oh gonna look at that one. I'm oh gonna look at him. 
Oh my god, I want him. You saw my Primark call, you would have saw that I bought like that pink wiggly candle and I had nothing to put it in. This is cute. I might have to get this, but I don't know if it's enough fit. That is so cute. Why do I want to get that for Cobes? I'm at the basket section, but it doesn't really look promising to be honest. There's these ones. But it doesn't look like the black one that I wanted is here. Well, that was a fail. I don't even know where to get this because I don't know if my candle's going to fit in it. It's 5 99 so I might just get it. I'm sure you can like cut a candle down to fit in there. But the basket's not here. I'm very sad about that. So TK Maxx was a fail, basically. But now I've come to a and I've not been to this one before. Fingers crossed it's good. I'm not looking for anything, anything specific. Um, I never got that candle holder either just because of CBA to DIY the candle and don't think it's going to fit, so there's no point. But yeah. Let's go into B and M. Even though I really need a wee, this is probably a bad idea. While I'm out on my own, oak moans when I walk around like B and M and stuff. So I'm gonna make the most of being on my own. I'm back from B and M. I couldn't film in there because I didn't pick up a basket, which was a bad idea. But probably smart because it stopped me spending so much money. See, so yeah, I literally didn't go in looking for. Well, actually, that's kind of a lie. I knew this was in there, but I didn't think while I was going in there that I'm gonna get this because I didn't think it'd be in there. I follow this girl on Instagram called Megan, and she posted this on a story the other day, and I was like, I actually need that in my life. How cute. Is this and it's real pampas as well. It's pampas in white part. It was £20, which is quite expensive for being over because it's real fluffy pampas. I think it's worth it. So this is just gonna go probably on the window ledge up here in our bedroom. And then I picked up these two things. Because our bedside tables are very empty right now. Like we bought these gold ones. We've got nothing on them. We're not getting lamps or anything because we're getting the lamps that come out the ceiling. So there's no point getting lamps with bedside tables. But you know what? They were so tempted by these. They've got them. I can't remember what B and M I was in when I saw them. But they've got these lamps and I think they're so cute. Are they just not very cute lamps? They would look sick on the bedside tables, but yeah, we're not having lamps on the bedside tables because they're coming out the ceiling. But I do want some little decorations and stuff. So I was like, do I get candles? Do I get ornaments? But I found these. I think they're quite cute. They're five pound each, just like a little pot of bunny tails. So we're gonna put them on the bedside tables and see if we like them. Should we put this up here first, actually? Obviously you need to take the tag and stuff off, but it would go like there. We're going to get rid of this one. We're going to put this somewhere else. That doesn't need to be there. That looks quite cute, right? <laughs> kind of boring. And then let's try these little bunny tails. Side tables. Yeah, that's quite cute. I feel like it does need something else as well. Uh, I actually think they're quite cute. But then we're going to have like, the lamps coming down either side to add to the bed. And I want to get some Desenio prints in gold frames up there. But yeah, they're quite cute. Well, let's go to opinion later, but I think they're quite cute. It's DIY time. I am going to attempt to build a radiator cover in a hall. Because look at this, it looks fucking ugly. When you come in, this is what you see. Um, I did have a look online to see if there's radiator covers that we could get, just so I don't have to build one. But because of how high the pipes are, because they're on that step there, you don't really, well, you can't really get one for this height. You probably can get them made somewhere, but... I just thought it'd be a good idea to get the wood myself and to give it a go. So I will let you know how it goes. This is completely new to me. Like this is this looks quite hard. To some people, this might look easy, but for me, I work for a bank, so I ain't practical. I am a bit. I've done quite a few of the skeletons and the architraves and stuff like that. But giving this a go, it's going to be completely new. Uncle Dan, if you're watching this. Hopefully you'll be proud of me once you watch on, but we'll see how it goes. I need to paint it all as well, I've measured it up. Well, actually, I've measured all the pieces and I've had them cut already, so all I need to do realistically is just stick them together. Yeah, it's going to be harder than it sounds. I've got to actually cut round where the stair's going to be because I can't just, you can't have it there, if you know what I mean. So I've got to cut round the stair. It probably comes out, it comes out to like pretty much level with that wall there. I've got to cut round the stair. I've also got to take into consideration the skirting and then also this plastic tube here that's covering the pipes. Oh, wish me luck. You know what though, I actually enjoy doing stuff like this. Also, I didn't know before we before we moved into this house that B&Q actually cut pieces of wood for you. So all the pieces of wood that I've had are cut to size and you just need to take the measurements in. There's a saw, I think it's in most of the B&Qs. I'm not too sure if it's all of them. And yeah, if you're looking to DIY anything, buy a piece of wood and they'll just cut it for you. It's just really simple. So that's a tip for people that are looking for houses because I did not know that. So yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. So I've been out all day. I've had my camera so Oak hasn't been able to film anything, but he's been building the radiator cover. So excited. Kinda scared. 
These are just spaces, by the way. I was going to say, what is that? <laughs> Show them. I was thinking you put, built that the wrong way around. <laughs> You've been helping Dad with yeah, his you've tail. Been... You've been helping. There's loads of work. Ow. You've been trying to lick the glue and everything, haven't you? Yeah, oh, that's so helpful, well, thanks, Cobes. Cobes. I read it. Right, this is what we've... Maybe take the one out that you've done first. Ooh. <laughs> Who knew that Oak had this skill? Because I didn't. <laughs> Not going to lie. Why have you left this gap? That's the end gap. Mm. And then it'll be the same about that side. Okay. That gap is pretty much similar to all the middle ones, isn't it? You proud of yourself? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so is this the top? No, this is the bottom, isn't it? That's literally... Have you explained what you've done with the cutting out? So basically with a radiator cover, if you haven't ever bought one or you don't know how they work, you need like an area at the bottom and an area at the top so that the heat can get out if you actually want to put the radiator on. This bit here, that bit is because it goes over the stairs. Ours is a bit weird. I think I explained that to him anyway. <laughs> what <Yeah>. are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You're a big stretch. <laughs> See, what I did was, got these cut and then the width of them, I just used to space them out so it's like a nice... Perfect spacing. Yeah, so do one half. That's wait, gonna look sick when it's wait done. Wait for that to dry. And then I'll do the other side. Yeah, boy. I think they are glued on there. Maybe just, just these. I'll just leave it just these for a bit. Ones. Yay! Homemade radiator cover. And then we're gonna paint this Egyptian cotton. Is that what we're gonna do? So it matches the wall. Egyptian cotton or white? It's up to you. I reckon maybe white with Egyptian cotton top or. No, I'd rather have it one block colour. I think the top is gonna be sick as that either. Yeah, it's not just gonna be like a normal thing, it's gonna go around the corner. Really. We'll show you it when it's done. But yeah, this is what Oak's been doing, handyman. <laughs> Love that. Come on. Thanks, Oak. Right. It looks sick when it's done as well. You've been helping Dad. Look at his tail go when we talk to him. You've been helping Dad. Hello. You've been helping Daddy. Looks sick, don't it? <laughs> Oak has finished. Yeah, boy. His handmade radiator cover. And it looks sick. Proudy Sal. Get at me for radiator covers. I would actually... Would you actually do that? Make stuff for people. I don't think I'm that good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait until you see this. That looks sick. So... Da, 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 da. Da. Wow! What do you think, Hopes? He's not impressed. That looks so sick. Can we uh, go and put it where it's meant yeah. to be? Yeah, so Oak's painted it this morning. We've painted Egyptian cotton basically to match the walls. So Oak's going to bring it in. It's literally like cut to size. I'm really surprised you have this in here, you know. Is it completely dry? Yep. 100%. Moment of truth. Imagine it looks a different colour to the walls. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. It looks sick that colour as well, don't it? Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, boy. And we're gonna put as well the Louis Vuitton book on there. But I don't know if to wait or not because it's dried a bit more. It's dry? Before we put a heavy book on there. Bro, it literally dries within lock. But do you not think if we put a heavy book on there and then lift it up one day it'll all peel off the paint? No. It's not Fine sticky, then. is it? That's gonna go there. Wow! Hi, chicken. You're just the cutest thing I've ever seen. That looks so sick. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to hang the gold mirror? Oh my god, we've got more stuff to show that we haven't showed yet. I'm gonna have to buy you a need mirror. A mirror then? I don't know, I'm gonna have to go and buy one. I might go to the food shop and buy one later. I don't know. I might go to IKEA as well and get that gold one. Ready yourself, that, that looks sick. I like it. Emily, what do you think, Coves? It look good. I love that we've painted it Egyptian cotton. That was such a good choice. Yeah, it block blends in a bit, don't yeah. it? Yeah. So it all looks nice. Wow! Love that. Well done, Oak. Thank you. Really proud of you for that. So yeah, we need to get like a white and gold candle. Let's go on there. Gold mirror there. We need to get some prints to go up the stairs. And then that's the whole way done, isn't it? we got like a gold thing. What do we do with it? Oh, we have. Where was that? Where did you put that? That fit, same thing that's in the oh, kitchen. Oh, wait, like, where did I put it? Or where did you put it? I think it's in your room. In my room? Might be, I don't know. Please ignore all the mess I've been working today. But this mirror... It's going to go downstairs. I'm just borrowing it because I gave my niece my one because I need to buy a new one. So we're going to put this one down there. This little eggy one. So this thing's the same gold as the mirror. Look how beautiful this one looks when it's up. You're going to love this. But the oh. mirror needs cleaning. Please ignore. Oh yeah. Doesn't that look sick? It does. I reckon about there, do you? Yeah. Not too low down. No, no. Like that? Yeah. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a wedge and I'm going to hang this up. Yeah. So I'm excited to see it once you've done it. Peace. Peace out. What's their lines? He needs cleaning. Oh, fuck off. It's been in my room. <laughs> you know when I was editing this vlog this morning? 
We yeah. didn't even explain that we was getting the lights done. Bro, I swear we did, you know. We actually didn't. We didn't even say we were getting them done. We didn't say, oh, Will's here to do the lights. We didn't say we've got oh. the lights done. We've literally had these done now for like a week. We haven't showed you. Sorry about that. We haven't even showed this. We showed that. Yeah, but not the mirror and stuff that's put up. You don't so even know what, what you're on or what, what, what the crack is like. <laughs> yeah, we've got a few updates to show you. So we're going to show you now. I'm going to film you explain. Go on then. So basically we've had lights done downstairs and upstairs, hallway and our bedroom. Is that sneak peek? Well, sneak peek. Should we do the radiator cover first? Oh, and the switches as well. We need to show them. Okay, oh, that's a bright light. I don't know what that one is. <laughs> show this first. <laughs> Welcome to our crib. Hey, hi, Cove. Ta-da! <laughs> so this is Oak's special creation that we did see. We showed you that. We've just like jazzed it up a little bit, haven't we? Yeah. This is the mirror that was in my room. It could do with a little clean, to be honest. That's like my job today. I'm going to do the front windows as well. Okay. And then I decided to put my Louis Vuitton book on there. Because I feel like it goes nice with like... The orange. Vibe. Yeah. orange. Then we had this that Oak's mum got us ages ago. It came like a pack of two. And then this, I got this from Asda the other day. I don't even really like the smell of coconut, but... I do, I think that smells nice. It goes with the vibes. I think Coves wants to go for a walk like... <laughs> Good day! <laughs> <laughs> Come on. That's our little set up. I feel like the golds go nice together because they're not shiny golds. Yeah. It looks oh. really nice. Oh, we nearly showed the light then. <laughs> Yeah, I love this little setup. I feel like it's complete now. It doesn't need anything else on there. Yeah. I agree. Also, you may have seen. Oh yeah, this isn't finished. Yeah. So, basically, the box on the back of here was bigger than the one that we had before, so it doesn't go back. So Will's coming back to sort it out. Yeah, you got to take it off and. So that isn't. Drill hasn't. further back. Yeah. Drill further back into the wall, and then we can actually put the front on once it's uh, level with the wall. So that's why it looks fucking ugly. But yeah, we've had all this. Our living room as well. We've had all the light switches changed except for in the kitchen. Yeah. Big reveal. Da 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 da. Yay! Oh yeah. We've well, got nice light that, that are actually sick bright. On does it? Yeah. So these are from B and Q. Oak found these. They weren't cheap. I think they were ninety pound each. I've got the same one upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> they were ninety pound each, which isn't cheap, but for like. You pay for what you get, it looks sick. They are fucking And the LED real. lights as well. Oh, we. So they're nice and bright. I and it, all the gold them, you know. also ties in with the gold. I know, yeah, come on, look at this. And then a quick detour to the living room. So in here, we've changed the light switch to black. To match the black handle. And then we've also the black changed wall. that plug socket to black. Oh, yeah. So they're the living room updates. Let's go, sure. You wore those fucking slippers outside, you slip. Yeah, Cobra's now. So up here we've got brushed, what's it called? Brushed metal? Nickel. Brushed nickel? I don't really know. I don't know. Light switches. Brushed metal? And you can't see any screws or anything in them so they're like sleek. Screws. So if we turn that on. Yay! Voila. Got another light. I did the arc job as well. <laughs> so. Still hasn't painted it though. Yeah, well I need to, <laughs> I need to like fill these gaps and everything first before I do that. That was sexy light, hello. Follow me into the bathroom. This light by the way is shit. <laughs> it looks nice, but it looks alright, it was just like yeah, an average light. it goes. It looks good on camera. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. It passed and it literally makes zero difference. Even at night time. So yeah, we're gonna change that. That's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you look a proper like, <laughs> Huh? You look a proper MTV cribber. Come with me. Oh, hold on. Oh. <laughs> you Come can on. see them dangling. Da -da -da. Come in. Okay, come on. No, you have to do it when you, you yeah. have to show the bed first. They look pretty boring like that. Oh shit, there's fucking clothes on. That's there. because we're DIYing a drawer, so True. the clothes are there, so ignore that. But, okay. ready? Yeah. <gasps> wow! Well, yeah, we literally got them to go over the bedside tables and they're gold to match. The only annoying thing for me is that the black wire. And this is our bedroom light, which is nice but shit. We're getting rid of it. Yeah, let's get rid of it. 
These two are bright enough on that. They're enough, aren't they? They are our sexy new lights. And to be fair, these were only thirty pound each as well. What which a bag. Isn't bad. We got another thing to show you as well, which is. Do you want to explain the story behind this? You explain. You you had that idea, so you explain. Okay, so when we was at Cornwall, at the beach, loads of stones, and I thought, it's Cobra's first walk. So, I thought that it would be cute to have a memory of Cobra's first walk at the beach. And our first holiday. Family and our first holiday. family holiday together at Cornwall. Had to get Shan to help me with the colours, but they, they match. Yeah, quite nude. <laughs> quite nude. <laughs> Cute. They do. And the last bit of gold, actually no, not the last bit of gold. We're getting gold decennial prints to put on the walls there. And then we're going to change these hand, I think I really said this, change these handles to gold too. Yeah. And that's the gold? I did like these, but... No, we need gold. We need gold. Because you get a gold handle on the door. No, that's long, isn't it? Now it's my turn to do some DIY. Please ignore the dusty, ugly fan. So basically these drawers behind me, they're very plain. Very boring. So what I want to do is, now that the wooden sticks that go all the way across, I'm going to do that all the way across each of the six drawers. We've bought some wood from B&Q already. It's like, oh, I can't remember what it's called, but you buy it already like curved and cut in half. So I'm going to do that to all six of these drawers. I just don't know if I've got enough wood to do all of them. Don't know how long it's going to take. Don't know if it's going to look any good because it's me doing it. We're going to try. That's the plan. And then to match up the gold vibes we've got going on in the room, I'm going to order some prints from Decenio, but then... I'm going to get gold handles to go on these. So I'm going to take one drawer down at a time, empty it out onto the, the bed. And if this looks like shit, then this is Oak's fault for letting me do it and not doing it himself. Even though it's my idea and I want to do it. Right, surely it can't go that wrong. The only thing that could go wrong is if they're wonky. But I'm going to try my very best. I got an A in art, so surely I can line things up in a straight line. Right, so I'm gonna do it in the kitchen because it's freezing outside. I think I'm just gonna cut the wood outside, but I've got my drawer. And this is the wood that we've got for being cute. It's like curved and flat outside. So if you chew this, you're dead. And I'm gonna stick it on with wood glue. All the gear, but no idea. But I don't know whether to. But do you need to sand this down, but it's not wood? Is it gonna stick onto that? It's like, got that layer on top. I don't know if it's gonna stick. Oak? Yes? Will wood glue stick onto this? What? Will it make it stick? Definitely. You think? Even though it's not wood, it's like got that layer on. That's wood. Huh? Yeah, it definitely would, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you leave so, it face down, then yeah. you're all good. Go on, use the word. Flush. <laughs> Should it flush? Yeah. I think so. So this is exactly 19.2 centimetres. Okay. So what are you going to do? Are you going to keep on drawing lines every 19.2 and cut them all first or? Yeah. You are, yeah? That's the plan. Okay. DIY Shan. Yeah, I'm leaving it to it. <laughs> Fuck. Let's all pray that I don't mess this up. <laughs> right, so I'm going to start by Lying a piece of wood on the side and then marking every 19.2. I feel like 19.2 is just hard. Why couldn't it be like 19? Right, marked. I'm going to cut that one first and then stick it to see if it's the right size. This is just me out already and I've just started. Okay, you can all grow up and like. Obviously, don't put your hand under the saw. I feel like I have to tell you. <laughs> Oh, I think it's gonna work. Ta-da! <laughs> DIY queen, look at you! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> so we've got all of our little sticks. One big stick makes 12 little sticks. Now I'm going to stick them on here and hope that they're all the exact same size. So I'm going to use a knife, get some wood glue, if I can get any oh, wood glue. Smear it onto the back of this. That was probably way too much. Right, well I've definitely done too much on here, so that's a great start. I'll drip from the floor. Ah, okay. Glue, don't know where to put the knife. Uh, and then we're gonna stick it. I'm making my first stick. Oh, you're sticking it down? Yeah. 
Are you using the one that you... Yeah. For the first one? Is it alright, yeah? Mm -hmm. Look at that for size. Oh. Oh, yeah. Can I get on my yeah? Good. Perfect. <laughs> That's a tissue. <laughs> wow, we got one on there. I'm a DIY queen. There we go. Time so for the continue. Are you going to keep like the crisp edge on the top? Yeah, the crispest edge. Yeah. Yeah. You go then, Coco. <laughs> Is this my first DIY in the house? And the mirror. That's actually still not finished. Do you think I put too much glue on this? I don't know how much you put it on, let me see. Yeah? Bro, you literally just need one line. Just the line through the middle. Oh. That is a lot. Do you want me to not help you? Do you want me to do one thing, you do the next? Can you glue them? Yeah. I'm actually so proud of myself for this. Not that I've even done anything yet. What, you proud of yourself for sticking two pieces of wood on there? Yeah. Look at that. These all look so cute when they're done. So all them sticks of wood, we've managed two and a half drawers out of six. But we would have been able to do three, but I put some of them too short so I couldn't go on. Oh shit. Well, this is what they look like. I think they look quite good. We just need to paint them white and then put some handles on them. They will be so cute. But you only need to buy more wood and then we can do the rest. But for now, we've got two and a half done. And that is the end of this moving vlog. I still haven't finished the drawers, so that'll be like in the next moving vlog. We'll be painting them and stuff like that. But yeah, sorry to keep you waiting so long for a moving vlog again. But I hope you did enjoy this one. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below for more. And I'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video.